This is James with Net News Ledger. We are on the north side of Boulevard Lake at the Adelaide Street Monarch plant growing area. And the milkweed is being planted this weekend by Urban Greenscapes. Here's the full We are here at the Adelaide Street Monarch Garden property with Dan Fulton from Urban Greenscapes. This is an amazing morning. It's beautiful here in Thunder Bay. Dan, thank you for inviting us. Oh, you're welcome, James. It's always a pleasure to have you around. You have got an army of people here planting milkweed on the September long weekend in Thunder Bay. How did you do that? Well, there's, it's uh, the monarchs are just they're a, they're a growing concern, and with, you know it all ties in with the environment and everything else. In Thunder Bay, it's just taken off. We've got hundreds of people planting milkweed in their yards, raising caterpillars at home. Uh, it's, a, it's a noticeable trend, and this is just a big showcase. People can come and learn, and uh, increasing the habitat is one of the main concerns with the monarchs. You have to have the milkweed plants because uh, that's what the caterpillars eat. That's their host plant. Now, you're planting milkweed this weekend. How many plants are getting planted, yes, and where did they come from? <laughs> uh, we've got a 1,000 plants that were donated by uh, an organization called Monarch Nation, which is out of the Toronto Regional Conservation Authority. Uh, they had some projects, they had some uh, plants, and they, they asked, can I use them up here? Mm -hmm. uh, of course, because they, they knew I had the uh, garden started up here. I talked to one of their uh, directors last year. So it's just, they... They sent up a thousand plants, and that's what's going in. Uh, all different native plants. There's milkweed, tall sunflower, uh, Oswego tea, all kinds of anise hyssop is another one. All which are all important. The milkweed mostly for the monarchs, but they have to have other nectar flowers. And it's a whole project to increase the biodiversity of the entire area. So you're helping the other pollinators, bees, insects. Uh, insects have become a big concern because no insects, no birds. They, there's actually uh, some well-documented studies that there's been a huge drop in insects. Mm -hmm. Same with the bird populations, can't feed the babies. A uh, nest of black-capped chickadees will eat five to 7,000 insects to go from there to a fledgling. So the project here, now this, this started, this is reasonably new, it started last year? Last year uh, the city gave me 12,000 square feet here right on Boulevard Lake to uh, turn it into a monarch garden and uh, it's been going pretty well, yeah. A lot of enthusiasm, pretty good, like you can see today the volunteers are incredible. Everybody wants to be involved and uh, it's all good for the environment and the monarchs. Now, for our, our viewers and readers who are sitting at home, how do they find out what's going on? Well, yeah, I'm on Facebook under Urban Greenscapes. Uh, I post up any events that are happening here. Uh, if you're raising monarchs, you have any questions, fire them off there, and uh, you'll get replies. We've got a lot of good people on the site who will also answer. There's been a, a few uh, real core group that have been around doing it for years, but the last two years it's just skyrocketed. People are paying more attention to the environment, to the monarchs, and biodiversity all over, so it's great. Dan, thanks for taking the time on the long weekend. Oh, no problem, James. Uh, thanks for coming down. Thank you.